Virgil Green joins us, Denver Broncos tight end. Virgil, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Good to see you again. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Yeah, we were just reminiscing about Denver Broncos training camp up in Greeley way before your time. Have you been to Greeley? I have been on a a couple of community service things. I think uh, how how close is a wild animal sanctuary to that? Because we went a couple weeks ago. 30 minutes, I yeah. think. It's yeah, cl- it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Um, the, when the Broncos camp was there, uh, it was not even close to this kind of – this is luxurious. Yeah. And uh, that was uh, – it was pretty Spartan. Like, you guys had to sleep – the team had to sleep in the dorm rooms. In chair rooms. On little, little twin beds. <laughs> I mean, the, ho- the, the hotel over here, I'm not going to say too much. <laughs> it's better than a dorm room, though. <laughs> okay. Do you Let share you. rooms over here? Uh, no, I mean, rookies do. but So you actually guys. have your own room, at least. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a refrigerator? Oh, absolutely. You got to you know, you when you're a vet, you get the suite. You get the suite? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. It's nice, nice, right? Fancy yeah. suite over yeah. here. So, what, so, so what's your mindset coming into this camp? Uh, you know, just be physical, um, compete. You know, I'm a competitor. That's the first thing I am. When I tell, when people ask me what I play, I'm a competitor. That's what I do. Um, and that's what the NFL is all about. Um, every day, every week, you got to earn the right to be on the field on Sunday. Uh, you're never just a shoe in um, You got to go out there and just earn the right every single day. How many training camps is this for you now? This is my seventh. Seventh, yeah. So you, you're a, a veteran uh, football player. Now, I think we talked to you about this last year as well. And uh, to still have that attitude, I think that's, that's really, really cool. And, and that's probably uh, one reason that you're still around and still competing and still doing well. Absolutely. You know, I was a seventh-round draft pick. You know, I didn't go to a big school. I, I come from Nevada. Um, so every, every year I always feel like I got to prove myself. Um, every year. Whatever I can do on special teams, I'm there. I have a lot of respect for special teams just because that's how I kept myself around early on. So um, however the team needs me, the first thing, the most important thing to me is winning. I hate losing. So uh, whatever I do contribute to us winning games, I will do whatever it takes. If you look back on last year and it was a, you know, it was a disappointing year from an offensive standpoint, the tight ends really never sort of got involved as much as I've seen you involved in the past. This offense, certainly if you look at what Mike McCoy accomplished in San Diego, is fairly tight end friendly. Have you? I mean, is that a fair assessment from your standpoint as you now have seen this offense in the offseason? Absolutely. And Mike talks about it all the time as a tight end in this league. In this offense, you better be licking your chops. Um, you know, he, he draws up certain things for us to get open. But also, we do have two very good receivers outside, so he understands that those guys are going to take up some space in terms of guys focusing on them. Mm-hmm. And as a tight end, having those two guys out there is going to make it a lot easier for the guys inside to get open. And you have to beat linebackers. You have to beat safeties. Uh, yeah, and, and you've shown that you can catch the ball. And, and when you do catch the ball, you're hard to bring down. And I was, I was thinking the same thing, the same question that Dave asked you. Uh, you might get a lot more chances this year. Absolutely, you know, and that, well, that is my motto. can never be taken down by one person. If I get taken down by one person, that's an L in my book. So uh, I'm trying to put guys in a dogfight. Um, that's what I'm all about. How about the room this year? How about the tight end room? I mean, Jake Butts is here, but uh, he's going to start on PUP. I mean, Hireman's back. A.J. Derby, I mean, you know, talk a little bit about that tight end room. And from a veteran's standpoint, what do you see? Uh, very competitive, uh, very smart guys. Um, Jeep, our, Jeep Chris, our uh, tight ends coach, he's, uh, he comes in with a lot of energy every day. Um, I sometimes wonder how early he wakes up and how many cups of coffee he's had by our first meeting. He's one of those dudes. Because he's just, just jumping around, jumping around. And, and that's kind of what we need here. We need a – uh, a coach that is going to get us excited. He doesn't want us to be stressed about coming in. He wants us to enjoy the day. He teaches us so many different things. He's a smart guy. He's been a coordinator before. So we talk a lot, not just about things from a tight end's perspective, but how to look at things from, you know, what the receivers are doing, what the O-line is doing, and how that all complements us. You look good, too, by the way. We're talking to Virgil Green. You know when you're driving? I have lines that say men doing shoulder work. 
There's a picture of Virgil doing yeah. those dumbbell things. Your shoulders, Flies. man. Man, seriously. I trained my tail off this off season. Yeah. Uh, you know, found out some things about my diet, changed up some things. So You look good. Uh, I, I really hope that uh, it uh, carries over to the season and I can stay a lot healthier this year, play all 16 games and in the playoffs. So what what'd you change up diet-wise? Well, I guess I found out I have a real bad dairy allergen, and I've been a, a milk guy for all my life. And, uh, you know, they say that possibly it's created some inflammation, and that's why I've had some muscle injuries over the years. So um, I'm, I'm cutting that out a little bit, going to some almond milk, mm. to some cashew milk. And it is a struggle. <laughs> no more milkshakes. Oh, I ice like, cream. I like my uh, bowl of cornflakes before bed, so um, I'm working on it. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Virgil Green.